Thank you, Dr. McDonough, and good afternoon, everyone. My name is Brian Frazee, and I am a double UMBC alum graduating with a bachelor's degree in political science and a master's degree in public policy. In addition, <laughs> thank you. In addition to my role as president of the UMBC Alumni Association Board of Directors, I also serve as vice president of government affairs for the Maryland Hospital Association. And it is an absolute honor to be here today to bring greetings on behalf of the UMBC Alumni Association, as well as the more than 85,000 alumni we have around the world on this historic day as we welcome Dr. Valerie Shears Ashby as our new leader. I always say that there is a special pride associated with being a member of the UMBC Alumni Association community. And three years into my tenure as president of the alumni board, I still haven't found the adequate words to describe that pride. And yet every time I say that, everyone seems to know exactly what I'm talking about. But what I do know is that the entire alumni community is so excited to support our new leader, Dr. Valerie Shears Ashby, as she continues UMBC's legacy and takes us to new heights. Thank you so much. It is truly a joy to be here today. My name is Jess Wyatt, and I'm an Associate Director for Alumni Engagement at UMBC. I am pleased to bring greetings on behalf of UMBC's exempt staff. I serve as the President of the Professional Staff Senate and the Chair of the University Steering Committee. The Professional Staff Senate and all of UMBC's shared governance groups advocate for the well-being of all our community members. We do this through relationship building throughout all areas of campus to uplift the whole community and advance our institution. It is such an honor to welcome you, Dr. Shears Ashby. Thank you. Good afternoon. It is a privilege to be here today with all of you to celebrate this historic occasion. My name is Desiree Stonecipher, and I am a business services specialist in the financial services department at UMBC. I serve as president of the non-exempt staff senate. The non-exempt staff senate is delighted to share today's investiture of Dr. Shears Ashby. We look forward to expanding and strengthening the interdependence, interdependent role of shared governance. Welcome Dr. Shears Ashby. Good afternoon. It is a pleasure to bring greetings on behalf of UMBC's graduate students. I am Ethan Post, president of the Graduate Student Association and a student in the Historical Studies program at UMBC. UMBC became an R1 institution just prior to Dr. Shears Ashby uh, joining our community. Uh, this means a lot to us as graduate students for the opportunities it provides, but it did not yet feel like we were part of the entire UMBC community. Uh, a huge uh, consensus from grad students was we felt a little separate from the rest of the institution. However, as soon as Dr. Shears Ashby arrived and I heard her speak, she mentioned her enthusiasm for the grad student body and my hair stood, on my, uh, stood up on my lips. <laughs> because it felt like we had finally found a president that truly hurt us and we had been yearning for a better sense of recognition and belonging on UMBC's campus. Dr. Shears Ashby has consistently affirmed that when she means all students, she means all grad students as well. Not only does this make us feel supported, it makes us feel heard because it shows that she's in touch with exactly with what we've been looking for in terms of support, community, and engagement. It's been a pleasure to work alongside you, and although this is my last semester, I look forward to see what we can possibly accomplish as grad students uh, in the future. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Shubi Saxena, 
and I'm the president of the Student Government Association. I'm a Meyerhoff Scholar and a pre-medical student of the class of 2024. On behalf of UMBC's undergraduate students, it's my esteemed honor to extend a warm welcome to each of you as we celebrate the dawn of a new era for our university. To lead is to listen. In her time here already, Dr. Shears Ashby has made us students feel heard. And I know that as long as she is here listening, UMBC students are going to leave her office and leave UMBC grown, empowered, and successful in our endeavors. SGA and all of UMBC's shared governance are platforms for our student voice to be given importance and lead the university to support our learning. I want to thank President Shears Ashby for listening to this voice and I want to welcome her to a campus that has a lot to say.